So you may want to cover your ears. And when I'm at somebody's house, wife, whoever in the house, I tell them, I'm already loaded up and ready, ready to go, ma'am. Uh, it's going to be a shot. It's going to be like a shotgun going off in the backyard. And no, I'm not shooting your husband. <laughs> and more often than not, it's really cool. I say, give me my permission. Um, and if there's anybody out in the yards, I tell them, hey, we're shooting to get a rope over a house because it is loud. Make sure that everything is not tangled up and everything's good to go. And there's a long way up there, and it's far away. So I'm going to shoot just below that uh, those, that leaf line. Fire in the hole! Yeah. All right, let's walk around and look at it. Loud for 22, isn't it? Sends it. So, I'm going to pull my car back over here because I kept it out of harm's way. <laughs> Open up the trunk, take out my rope bag, get my ladder, and I'm going to walk it. And so now it's 50-50. When you're pulling here, you're pulling the slack out here. It's never all here and take out slack. It's never try to pull yourself up with this. 50-50. The, these, knuckle, these knuckles are almost like milking a cow. I mean, because what you're doing, this hand's low and this one's high. When you finish this, this one's low. And now, you have to pull yourself up a little bit with this. Just don't there. Now take a little step up. Don't shove the left hand up any farther because okay. I need that slack. You just shove the left hand up. Oh. You took the slack away. I want to so, create some slack. I'm low here and then I'm standing back up as I'm pulling. But I started out low. You're trying to do everything from a, from a 10,000 foot and, and see everything you're doing from way up here. I want this body down here. Down here. And as I'm pulling, then it's straightening my body back up. You're still not bending at the wall. Can you chalk the roof from where you are right now? No. Well, that was the whole deal. I want you, I want you, I want you down here so you can chalk this roof. Shoot it. I mean, you high enough. That's what you do. I mean, that's what Oh, that's all the way down. Oh, he's up here. He's out. Another day, another dollar, baby. So today is beautiful Friday. I'm down here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I decided I was going to go ahead and start working on my insurance career. So I ain't got my license yet, though, but there's a lot of other things I can do, you know, uh, prior to me getting my license. So I came down to Atlanta, Georgia register for a class or a rope and harness class and the majority of the people well, all the people that was there they was already licensed insurance adjusters it's just they was pretty much taking this uh rope and harness course because as y'all know it's hurricane season and if you uh watch the news i think down in texas this day was talking about today i guess a tornado hit then y'all hear some type of hail storm well these guys they gotta come get certified so they can go on top of the roofs and stuff out there in Texas or wherever hurricanes hit, you know, all over. And they got to uh, 
write up an estimate for the insurance company of how much damage the insurance company got to pay out. So, you know, that's what the insurance adjusters do. They go up there and they say, hey, this person right here is going to need a whole new roof. It's $50,000 or 25000 and however much a roof costs. And, you know, uh, the insurance adjuster, we get a percentage of that, you know, more damage the more money and uh, since it's hurricane season it's a lot of money to go around but uh, a lot of the people here like I said they was already licensed they had already been working and doing claims and stuff like that so you know I started uh, talking to them about my favorite subject the money yeah so, uh, what else you thought I was talking about thought I wasn't going to ask about the money so yeah I started hey man so uh, what's up with the money because you know <coughs> You know, when I go to orientation, you know, trucking companies, it's anything but the money being talked about. It's all about leasing and losing and, you know, all that stuff. But uh, when they start talking about the money and how much they was making, whoo, whoo. <sighs> drivers, drivers, drivers. Whoo. There's a lot of jobs out there, drivers, paying you way more money. You ain't got to drive no truck drivers. Paying you way more money. A lot more easier to get into, drivers. I'm just saying that, you know, if Andrew is doing something, it's got to pay first and foremost. I'm not going to go and leave one part of the industry I'm already doing and come do something that don't pay you. If I'm doing it, there's clearly some money involved in it, okay? But uh, I'm on the independent side because I got a trucking company, three trusts, authority, all that stuff. I still got to run a trucking company. So uh, my title is uh, independent uh, catastrophic insurance adjuster. So if y'all want to put that in Google uh, and put salary, well, it's not salary, but put uh, uh, pay scale. Or I guess you can put salary in there. Just see what pop up. And whatever number it's saying, it's probably about right, right there. Okay, so... Anyways, so we came down here, job the saw, did the rope and harness certification class, wasn't scared, of, I'm, not, I'm not scared of no hypes or anything like that, you know, I'm not scared to get on no roof, no ladder, no nothing, I don't got no type of fear in me about none of that, so that is super easy for me. Uh, the only thing I got to know was, you know, when it's 80 degrees outside on top of the roof, it's pushing about 130 degrees, so you don't want to touch it because you're probably going to get like third or second degree burns. So, you know, it's pretty hot on top of the, uh, what else? I don't know, it was pretty much a one-day course. They gave me the certification, and then I started to uh, head out to Nashville, Tennessee. Got to uh, Marietta, Georgia, and I got a phone call. Uh, I guess the guy entered by uh, certification into the uh, into the system. It's a college course, so he entered into the system. So, you know, it's a lot of people looking for these insurance adjusters with, with the rope and harness certification to go up there and, you know, assess damage. So a uh, person called me, asked me, they said, hey, uh, are you still in line of Georgia? I said, well, yeah, yeah, I'm still here. I mean, I'm leaving, but I'm still here. They said, hey, well, can you uh, take two other courses uh, Saturday and Sunday, right here in Atlanta, Georgia, or College Park, you know, College Park, well, still Atlanta, Georgia, I guess, but I said, cool, what is it on? They said, they're going to show me how to do, uh, I guess it's like, I guess it's like floor plans, property floor plans, you know, how to, uh, I guess write up the damage is the best way to put it, write up the damage for the insurance companies and tell them how much money they bill is, okay, so, uh, and if y'all don't know what the insurance is just the years, I try to break it break it down the best way I can. So, uh, you got the insurance company that people got. Uh, obviously, you guys got insurance through whether it be car insurance, mortgage insurance. Uh, I like the mortgage insurance. I, I'm on the property side because that's where all the money is at. Okay, property costs more than a vehicle. Okay, so I'm on the property side. So, you know. You got an insurance policy, let's say hurricane come through, flatten your house. Well, the first person to show up is the insurance adjuster to assess the damage. Drivers, we got to assess the damage. And it looks like your house is sitting on the ground. How much did you pay for this house? A half a million dollars? Good, that's wonderful, because that's how much 
uh, your insurance company need to pay out. And guess who gets a percentage of it? In my hand, drivers with no expenses. Andrew, that's right, that's right. Oh, and by the way, your whole damn neighborhood is flattened. So it looked like the hurricane did a pretty good job on this whole entire city. We're going to be out here a couple of months collecting the bag, okay? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, that's the job title, you know. But uh, right now it's hurricane season. Hurricane season started June 1st. June 1st driver. So, you know, uh, any type of hurricane, tornado, level 3 plus. <laughs> Y'all hear anything about, you know, uh, houses being flattened and all that? Andrew will be on the scene, but you know, once I get my license, I gotta get the license. But uh, I'm doing everything else, I'm getting the training and everything else, so that when I do get the license, Andrew will be ready to go. So, I got the Robert Harden certification. I'm finna go and do the uh, it's called Exactimate, so I'm doing a Zactimate training tomorrow, two day course, and uh, YouTube stores. You know, I got my laptop here, we gotta use the laptop, so uh. How do I explain the exactimate? So basically, all it is is, let's say, it's basically like a floor pan. Let's say I walk up in your room, you say, hey man, I got damage to that drywall over there. I got roof damage, leaking roof, all them cabinets over there need to be replaced. Okay, well, I put all that into the software, and the software tells me how much all that's going to cost to replace. And that's how I write up an estimate. Get that to your insurance company, whoever you go through, State Farm, Allstate, whoever you get your mortgage insurance through. I give them their bill, okay? That's their bill, yes. Andrew writes the bill for them. I say, yeah, yeah, this this is your, it's your insurance. You, you the mortgage, you got the mortgage, you got your insurance through State Farm. You call me to come assess the damage. I came assess the damage. We got about, you know, $100,000 worth of damage it, State Farm, or all state, or whoever you got your mortgage through, they need to they need to fix this. I'm licensed, so yeah, here's the hundred thousand dollar bill, and I get ten percent. So make sure you know, just like they gotta have your money, they got to have my money. And I'm gonna get my ten percent, and all I did was come up here and, and, and yeah, <laughs> just take a bunch of pictures and leave, and then I go to your neighbor's house because your neighbor's house is on the floor too. Then after I get done with your neighbor, I go to the one beside him, too. We got a long way to go, driver. This hurricane knocked out damn near all of Okay, so you, you can have one. Okay, so the idea is for me to, if everything work out good, it, nothing works out perfect in life. So, you know, let's say the insurance actually worked out the way it's supposed to. Well, Andrew got three trucks. I'll put three drivers in there with the authority, of course. And whenever rates get better or whatever I decide to do, I collect off that, then I collect off this insurance, then I collect off YouTube, the stock market, dividend. We got a lot of collecting. You know, right now, Andrew is in the business of trying to collect. I'm trying, it's a lot of money I'm trying to get put in my hand, okay? Okay, drivers? We in the collecting business. We're trying to cut out as much expenses as possible and do a lot of collecting. Okay, now we got that out the way. Uh, so, yeah, I'm here for the whole weekend. I'll be back in Nashville Monday. So, you know, as far as the Archer go, I'm going to do a separate video on that. But uh, pretty much all the trucks sold for real cheap. You know, $30,000 or less from what I saw. But we'll do a video on the Archer results and basically show y'all, you know, we're trucking down bad. All of them trust damn near free at the auction. So, but if you do want to see the auction results before I do a video on it, if I get around to it, you can go to richardbros.com, go to auction results, go to uh, the Southeast Regional event that just passed, and you can see what those trucks sold for right there on the page, driver. You don't need me to make a video. You can go and see for yourself how much your lease truck that you was enslaving for well, damn near fifteen hundred a week, eight hundred a week, you you can see what they sold it for, damn near free. And you probably could have said, "Damn, Andrew, I could have bought that truck. I got the money right here." Yeah, you could have, but you didn't know any better, driver. But I did the video, so you do know. You know now. You didn't know then, but now you know. Okay, let me get on up out of here. Hopefully, y'all heard something.
I don't know what you learned, but hopefully you learned something. Write in the comment section something. And free Boosie. We need Boosie back out on these streets. Train place with. I ain't even gonna say the other dude name. We gonna get up out of here.